What's happening, folks? Welcome back to Pepper's Picks. This is the weekly football show where I let you know who's going to win, who's going to lose, meanwhile making fun of everything. It's what I do. I'm a comedian. As always, got to start with the disclaimer. This is for entertainment purposes only. Only. If you lose money listening to my craziness, that's on you. It has nothing to do with my job, my company, or anything I do here. However, if you win money listening to my craziness, you owe me money. Deal? Deal. We always kick it off with the good, the bad, and the ugly from the previous week. The good, I told y'all that Indy was going to handle business. They handled business at home against the Texans. I also told y'all that New Orleans was going to go on the road and handle the Bears. That happened. You know, everyone's talking about Cam Newton losing his job to the guy because he was injured. Um, I don't know about Drew Brees coming back. They're flowing. They're flowing quite nice. The bad, Seattle. Yo, y'all lost one player, Earl Thomas, to the opposing team, and then y'all just couldn't make no adjustments. He just spilled all the beans, and your offense was garbage all of a sudden? That's weird. Come on, man. Make adjustments. Also, Philly. Did y'all know y'all was going to Dallas? Like, the plane didn't stop back in Philly. It stopped in Dallas. You had to, you had to at least show up. Y'all could have at least showed up. The ugly? The Jets. Oh, my goodness. I was just kind of picking y'all just to maybe shock New England, catch them slipping. Y'all played all right the week before when you beat Dallas. And then y'all just showed up on Monday night and was like, ugh. Like, I thought you had recovered from Mono, but apparently SpongeBob Squareface did not recover from Mono. That was, oh. With no further delay, we'll get into the Week 8 action. Thursday night, look, I don't think this thing is going to air in time for Thursday night. It, I, don't, I think I might have done that maybe once this year. I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying, y'all. I'm busy. Anyway, uh, you got Washington versus the Vikings. This, y'all... Y'all not going to miss nothing? No way. This is this is Vikings all day. Washington, you're dead to me. Seattle versus Atlanta. Speaking of teams that need to hit the reset button, Atlanta, y'all need to hit the reset button on y'all season. Just take the whole Xbox and throw it away. And come back with a PlayStation 4. Because y'all, Seattle on the road. Philly at Buffalo. I'm taking Buffalo. Just plain and simple. Because look, Philly, you know, you know what you are, Philly? Philly, you guys won the Super Bowl a couple years ago, and you decided, yeah, you know, our quarterback is good, and he's got the team rolling, but you know what? We're going to go with this pretty little young thing right now. We're going to ship this other guy off, and then we're going to go and win some more Super Bowls. And then that pretty young thing is letting you down. You know what you are, Philly? You're a middle-aged man. Don't don't leave your wife just for the pretty young thing and the new Corvette. That's, it, it never works out. Now you're calling your old wife back and be like, oh, baby, please, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Yeah, you made a mistake. You did. San Diego versus Chicago. Look, neither one of these teams are good enough to win this game. So we just going to we just gonna flip for it, all right? Got a coin here. Head San Diego, tail Chicago. Head San Diego. New York Giants versus Detroit Lions. I am going with Team Canada on this one. Canadian Lions win. Tampa Bay versus Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee, y'all didn't deserve to win last week, and y'all changed quarterbacks. It was it was like supposed to give you a spark, and y'all still didn't deserve it. Um, maybe you should try and change coaches, because that's the problem. Tampa Bay on the road. Denver versus Indianapolis. Oh, Indy all day. Denver's starting to have a fire sale on all their players for draft picks. Indy all day. Bengals versus Los Angeles. That's right. We have the Bengals of Cincinnati versus the Rams of Los Angeles. This game will be held in the UK. The Queen will not be happy with the results as the Rams will win. They will shall become victorious and the lowly Bengals will be put back in the cage. They need to be put back in the jungle. Maybe steal another jungle beast that on display i'm not sure but we're going with rams of la arizona versus new orleans look i like arizona they're a feisty team they this they they're gonna go to new orleans and play really really hard and then lose in the end new orleans at home 
New York Jets versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. This is the for show game. All right, we got Uncle Rico versus Square. Three, two. New York Jets versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. This is the for show game. That's right, Jacksonville for show. We got Uncle Rico versus SpongeBob Squareface. I'm rolling with Uncle Rico because he could throw the football a quarter mile. Carolina at 49ers. This is a complete toss-up. Complete toss-up. If it was in Carolina, I would take Carolina. But since it's on the West Coast, I'm going to go ahead and take 49ers by a field goal late, maybe just one point. Who knows? Oakland versus Houston. I'm taking Houston all day. Oakland last week got Swiss cheesed up. Their defense is junk. Houston bounces back from their loss. Green Bay versus Kansas City. Look, no Mahomes, no win. Although there's a rumor he's out there on the practice field and he might try and pull a Brett Favre against Green Bay and get out there hurt. Uh, sit down, Mahomes. Just at least take a week off, man. Come on. I know you're 22, 23, and you just feel invincible. Just you know, We, we want to see you play for a long time. So just stay home. Just stay home. And lastly, Monday Night Football, Miami Dolphins versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. I know when they booked this game, they thought only one of the teams would be garbage, but this is a Monday night football game where the teams are combined 2 and 10. Ugh. Miami, you've got two chances to win a game. That's because you play the Jets twice this season. One of those you'll win. You're not winning against Pittsburgh. Thanks for tuning in once again. I'm Pepper Lamb. Give a shout out down low to Soldier to Soldier Realty. They'll help you out with all your realty needs. If you need me for anything, you know, like MC, uh, work a wedding, you need me to just put on a comedy show, you want to check out one of my comedy shows, you can just do that all the time. I'm everywhere twice. You can follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, follow me on YouTube, follow me in life. Deuces.